well this is a video to see how to use uh, level 2 and diamond sales uh, first uh, we are going to manage to call the level 2 window as we can see we can go to file new and select one of the items over here we are familiarized to for example level 2 and time and sales let's select a level 2 window or we can go to the market analyzer if we have one open make a right button and select it okay let's start with new selection of level 2 <coughs> here we have a level 2 window and we have to add an instrument. Let's add TS Tenaris in the American market. <coughs> so we have over here uh, the chart with all the information. But as well, we can go to Market Analyzer, make right click, select Send to, and we have several options such as Level 2 and Time and Sale. Let's select Level 2. <coughs> And here we have the information without without the need of selecting it, uh, the asset. Okay, uh, we have several panes. One is the one that most people are, are familiarized with. Uh, in the upper line, we have bid ask, uh, close open, total volume, and so on. And there we have the first line of that is 2093, 2094 now that's the best bid and the best ask in depth we have the relationship between the two of them such as the two uh, two two and the size of uh, in uh, in stocks okay 400 and 600 now 200 and 1300 and the depth as a ratio of two and four and the spread is the last column that show us that the spread at, at this moment is one cent we have several levels uh, we can see a four spread in the second line and the relationship we have the depth in, in each one of the files and the size of the aggregated offers of bid and ask. Then we have a graph at our right. As we can see, we have a zero line and in the first column we can see we have shallow uh, as it was in the uh, left hand uh, section. Okay. When we have a, a in we have the chart with the strength on, of both lines uh, equals as is in this moment uh, the shallow line. It uh, it means that we have a stabilized pressure between buy and sell. So if we have more in in the uh, in one side as is in the red one right now, we have more sell pressure. Now it's buy pressure. This is changing too fast. I'm trying to relate it as, as fast as I can. <clears throat> so that's a view uh, in a visual way that to see if the stand is more uh, buyers or sellers uh, dominating the uh, such level of the stock. So then we close. <clears throat> we can go to send to. Now we go to time and sales. The window wall goes a little up. So we select an instrument. We already had Tenaris in our case. And we can see we have block, block, block. OK, a right button properties. And as we can see, the block alert by default is 80. It's too low. Let's put 1000. <coughs> Apply or we can set it as default and OK. Let's close this. <clears throat> now we can see that the, uh, the word block doesn't appear on each trade. We have to wait up until we have a thousand uh, shares exchange. So <clears throat> to be able to um, visualize it really fast, instead of looking the numbers, uh, we have a visual alert of the block types. So we have to wait a little. So we have a thousand <coughs> uh, uh, stocks exchange. For now, we don't have. <coughs> Let's wait a little. 
as we can see all the ties are put in colors to be differentiated from one to another and we wait okay let's go to <coughs> select another asset to see if we can have that one let's go to right click instruments and here we go we can select any of them from the level 2 of uh, or if we have a uh, several uh, instruments in market analyzer we can go to uh, them click and uh, click right click on them and select <coughs> send to uh, so we have several level 2 windows instead of one only <coughs> so we see we don't have block ties either but until this moment we can change it okay if i was to i was going to change it to a lower price but there we have <coughs> at a thousand and fourteen hundred uh, stocks in one toy so